Strong and multiple ties bring the Arab world and Africa together. The Arab-African cooperation is deeply rooted in history as geographic proximity and the bonds of history, culture, economy and civilization cemented by centuries of population movement and by shared aspirations, common interests and destiny made cooperation both inevitable and binding. According to a resolution adopted by the 6th Arab Summit held in Algiers on 28th November 1973, an Arab international financial institution was established under the name the Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa, or Badia. Badia enjoys full international legal status and complete autonomy in administrative and financial matters. Its establishment aims at strengthening economic, financial and technical cooperation between African and Arab countries through contributing in financing economic development in African countries stimulating the contribution of Arab capital to African development and providing the technical assistance required for the development of Africa. On February 18, 1974, 18 Arab countries signed the agreement establishing Badia and in March 1975, the financing operations were launched from its headquarters in Khartoum, the capital of the Republic of Sudan. Badea is considered to be one of the few institutions in the world that is established to assist countries that do not own it. Badea is owned and financed by Arab countries that are not entitled to receive its assistance. The beneficiary countries are the 44 countries of Sub-Saharan Africa. Activities and operations of the bank expanded to cover all development sectors. Its financing interventions took three forms. Providing loans to finance development projects on highly consensual terms. Financing operations within its technical assistance program in grants. In addition to financing of exports of Arab countries to Africa through a special facility. The total accumulated resources provided during the last 40 years amounted to about 4,330 million American dollars, of which about 4,187 million were allocated to finance 566 development projects. The net loan commitments for project financing amounted to around 3,504 million American dollars. Euh, son financement a été très important parce qu'avant l'usine avait une capacité de 2000 mètres cubes. Après financement, nous avons, euh, nous sommes au-delà de, de 4000 mètres cubes par jour. Euh, donc le renforcement qui a été fait, le renforcement des installations. Infrastructure projects represent the cornerstone of the solid foundations of the economies of states and contribute towards preparing an environment that encourages and attracts investment in these economies. The roads subsector is considered the most important of infrastructure and has the highest priority for recipient countries as it contributes to the achievement of social and economic development. Due to the importance of this sector, the bank devoted the largest share of its funding to it, amounting to $1,967 million of the last 40 years. And I've been to a number of airports in Africa. I think this is uh, by far a good introduction to, to Gaborone and uh, it's very uh, well organized. The uh, renovations look uh, fabulous, so it's a good entry to, to Botswana. Alleviation of poverty is one of the most important objectives for Badia as it designs, prepares and evaluates its operations. Since the impact of poverty is focused on rural and agricultural sector in most of the parts of Africa, 
Badia paid special attention to implement the infrastructure projects that contribute to the increase in productivity of the agricultural sector and rural development. Badia also responded in its funding operations to the needs of recipient countries in achieving food security and employment opportunities. The finance projects played an important role in expanding cultivated areas through land reclamation and preparation, provision of irrigation systems and the introduction of modern technology. The agriculture and rural development sector was granted about 880 million US dollars of the net Badia funding during the 40 years. So this is the rehabilitated whole irrigation scheme. It has been newly rehabilitated after a period of a collapse of 20 years. It has not been in production. Uh, the funds were, the, the, the development fund came from the Badea, the Anana Bank for Economic Development in Africa, and the government of Kenya. And since then, we have, uh, it has made a very big impact on the economy of this place. The farmers are happy because of the good harvest and the money they are getting from this project. Since its inception, the bank tended to meet requests from recipient countries benefiting from its aid to finance projects of power generation, transmission and distribution, whether hydroelectric or thermal projects, a matter which helped in upgrading the level of services, the dissemination of education and awareness, the fight against poverty and the improvement of the living standards of the population. The bank allocated to its sector about 174 million dollars of its net finances in the last 40 years. Uh, Montpuez now is connected by uh, national uh, networks and uh, in the past uh, Montpuez uh, running by uh, diesel generators so it's very expensive at the end. So now uh, Montpuez gave a, gave a big statement. Uh, we, get, uh, we get to connect uh, more uh, uh, customers, uh, we get to connect a big uh, uh, factory in Montpuez. Uh, I think uh, uh, so Montpuez is, uh, is very nice now. Badia has contributed to projects in the social sector in the fields of healthcare and education in recipient countries. It funded construction and rehabilitation of hospitals and healthcare centers, equipping medical laboratories and providing furniture and the construction and rehabilitation of schools, universities, institutes and training centers. The social sector received about 307 million US dollars of Badia's net funding over the last 40 years, including 62 projects in the fields of healthcare and education. Elle, la banque nous a redonné une autre chambre. Donc nous sommes fiers d'être dans une dans une autre chambre parce que avant nous ne sommes pas à l'aise. Il y a les moustiques qui nous piquent. Il y, a les, il y a des chauves-souris qui nous embêtent partout. Donc maintenant, nous sommes fiers d'être dans une autre. Uh, I'm very uh, excited uh, about everything. I'm, I'm looking there. Uh, ah, everything is so good. Ah, I think it is a beautiful building. Uh, I love uh, studying here. Badia is increasing its attention to the private sector to enable it to contribute to advancing the economic development in recipient countries. For this purpose, Badia has allocated credit loans to national and regional banks and development institutions in African states to finance sub-projects in the private sector. The number of loans provided for this sector amounted to 43, including 32 credit loans, and the net obligations allocated for it amounted to around 112 million US dollars.
The provision of technical assistance is made through two mechanisms. The first is financing technical and economic feasibility studies for development projects. And the second is the provision of institutional support. Since 1995, amounts provided for this purpose became grants that need not be repaid. Badia provided about 143 million US dollars in the context of technical assistance operations during the last 40 years of which about $67 million were allocated for technical and economic feasibility studies and about $76 million for the operations of institutional support. In the framework of operations of institutional support, Badia funded the organization of 219 training sessions in various disciplines to the benefit of 8,897 African trainees at a total cost of about $26 million US dollars. The fielding of Arab experts specializing in various fields to African countries represents an important theme in Badia's interventions. The number of Arab experts deployed or to be deployed by Badia to African states is 114 at a total cost of about 22 million US dollars. Well, we came for this course from different countries and here we are in Aksat Badia Center. Uh, we have learned so much from the course and we have also gained a lot from what we did not know before. And I also want to appreciate the cultural interaction we had within ourselves. In the same context, Badia contributed to organizing the Arab African trade fairs, symposia and meetings of relevant economic actors in Africa and the Arab world. Uh, so we come here today to have a big uh, exchange between uh, Arab women Arab uh, uh, entrepreneurs and uh, the African women entrepreneurs. It's a very great uh, meeting because it will bridge the link between the, between the women in the two um, part of uh, you know the world. Uh, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to promote women in many areas such as you know uh, our market uh, outlet production. And we think that Badia, this bank, uh, can help a lot. The development of trade exchanges between Arab and African states forms an important aspect of the bank's activities. Because of the importance of trade in promoting Arab-African economic integration. In this regard, the bank contributed to the capital of the African Export and Import Bank with $10 million. Badia has also developed a program to fund Arab exports to African countries, benefiting from its assistance, and has allocated $100 million to this purpose. Since the beginning of the program, total approvals amounted to around $375 million US dollars of which almost 187 million has been drawn and allocated to finance 29 operations for the benefit of 10 African countries, some of which have benefited from more than one operation. These were the states of Tanzania, Guinea, Mauritius, Zimbabwe, Seychelles, Zambia, Côte d'Ivoire, Kenya, Senegal and Gambia. Badia was always keen to improve the terms of its lending and has also contributed to the alleviation of the burden of its loans on recipient countries. Badia also participated with other financial institutions in the initiative aimed at addressing the problem of debts of heavily indebted poor countries, known as HIPIC, in both its original and enhanced versions. Under this initiative, Badia has provided support amounting to about 257 million US dollars for the benefit of 28 African states and is considering providing assistance to eligible African countries that reach the completion point. Due to possibilities availed by virtue of co-financing to cover the costs of major projects submitted by recipient countries, 
Badea has participated with Arab financial institutions such as the Coordination Group, which includes the Saudi Fund for Development, the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, the Islamic Development Bank, OPEC Fund for International Development, or OFID, and the Arab Gulf Program for United Nations Development Organizations, Ag Fund, in financing several projects to the tune of around 18 billion 210 million US dollars. Badea's contribution amounted to around 17% of the total amount. The bank reflects its credibility and commitment in achieving the development objectives that serve Africans and is keen to ensure direct supervision at all stages of the implementation of its operations. Badia sends experts to design these operations, evaluate them and follow up on progress of work and also attends their launching and opening ceremonies after completion. The bank also receives delegations of recipient countries to discuss the progress of ongoing and future cooperation and pays visits to these countries at the level of its general management. Badia began managing its operations in 1975 with a capital of $231 million, which was increased gradually over the years until it reached, in January 2014, $4 billion, $200 million. The last capital increase, which amounted to $1 billion, $400 million, came upon a directive from the third session of the Arab Economic and Social Development Summit held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in January 2013. The bank implemented its operations since 1983 through five-year plans, linking available resources and their utilization and the needs of the recipient countries through adopting a strategy based on increasing the resources allocated to financing with the expansion of the size of its operations. Badia's management sought to recruit Arab and African experts from the widest possible geographic range, thus securing its needs of human resources in all disciplines. Due to the expansion in Badia's activities, the headquarter building in Khartoum does not meet the requirements of the work for the time being and for future needs. Thus, it was decided to expand and rehabilitate the old building. The work on this project is currently underway. The bank will continue its efforts to take advantage of its accumulated experiences, to strengthen and fine-tune its role in the light of the developments taking place in the world in general and in recipient countries in particular. The most important visions of the future include meeting the growing development needs in Africa while giving special significance to financing the private sector projects through intensifying cooperation with regional and international development, financing institutions towards participation and financing private sector investments projects. Badia will also focus on encouraging the investment of Arab capital in African countries by financing studies and seminars that help to attract Arab investment. The financing of Arab exports to African states will also be expanded through contributing to the provision of the necessary financing. The financing of Arab exports to African states will also be expanded through contributing to the provision of the necessary financing. Badia will also continue to support public sector projects in addition, of course, to Badia's conventional activities. At the same time, Badia will work to maintain the integrity of its financial standing and its continuation as a development finance institution operating under the slogan, Together for Africa. <laughs>